Hello. What is it? Let hey, me look see. at this. Look at this. Yeah? Oh. Yeah. That is one mm -hmm. fine looking ground rod. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. You know what they say. Yeah. Beauty might be skin deep, but ugliness goes right to the core. Ugliness? What do you mean? <laughs> you can't always tell if something's what it's supposed to be just by the way it looks. With ground rods, that's especially true. There are a couple of things you can see, but that's about it. Hmm. For example? For example? Specs say that a ground rod has to have a true conical point and chamfered end. True. Well, that's easy enough to see, but can you tell if the point and the chamfer are at the proper angle to the shaft? Hmm. Or if the end is at the right diameter? Uh, no. How about the diameter of the rod itself? I could measure that if I had the right tool. That's, that's a big if. Maybe you can measure the length too. Sure. A ground rod has to be at least eight feet long to meet code. Some companies make their ground rods a little bit cheaper by manufacturing them a little shorter than spec. Hmm. Are you going to measure every rod before it's driven? Uh, sorry, I, I don't have that kind of time. Can you tell the thickness of the coating? I can't, no. Why does that matter? The NEC requires a minimum of 10 mils of plating on a copper plated rod. Hmm. The RUS requires 13 mils. ASTM states for galvanized rods, the sink coating can't average less than 3.9 mil thick at any point on the rod. Yeah, I, I got no idea. I'm talking about ugly to the core. Oh boy. <laughs> the core of a ground rod that meets specs have to have a minimum tensile strength of 80,000 PSI and a minimum Rockwell B hardness of 80. Oh. Can you tell that by looking at it? No way. Now I know what I like best about this picture. That's the listing mark. You see, a, a ground rod can't be listed in, unless it's manufactured to meet the required specs. You're right. Uh -huh. You could call that a beauty mark. It, Man, that is one fine looking ground rod. Mighty fine, mighty fine, yeah.